Unlike most vehicles that are powered by an engine, this seats only the driver. The vehicle aims for more than the 40 miles per gallon of compact cars of today, but a much better gas mileage. More in the range of the hundreds, if not thousands of miles per gallon. That is why this vehicle is being designed to be as light and aerodynamic as it can be. The only way to get the most out of every drop of fuel is to make the vehicle as lightweight as possible while keeping it safe and durable. In order to do this, the team will be using a combination of carbon fiber, a small wooden base, and aluminum for the chassis, body, and supports. The competition requires the team to use a 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton motor, not much different than what you might find in a small gas-powered lawnmower. Yet with this tiny engine, the vehicle must also be able to propel itself and the person inside up to 25 miles per hour. The throttle on the vehicle will be governed by Arduino microcontrollers. These are open source electronic platforms that are small and customizable. However, along the way, a number of proposed ideas had to be scrapped. A number of constraints contributed to some of the design changes. Some were budgetary, some time constraints to be ready in time for the competition, and others were simply in favor of ideas that came up along the way. The vehicle that will run this year will not have the once envisioned sidecar for the motor. Instead, stability will be derived from the angle of the wheels. It will now take on a bullet train shape. A newly constructed carbon fiber shell did make it into the final design, but the base will be made of a combination of wood in the shape of an I-beam. This will support the rest of the carbon fiber base along with the top carbon fiber shell. While this will add weight, it will make it much easier to build it as intended. The steering system that was initially designed to use a combination of 3D printed parts and a track was redesigned to use this linkage system. The reason for its unusual design is so that it will fit into the narrow width of the vehicle while still providing enough ability to steer. The shell was made using a combination of different technologies. It began as a three-dimensional model, but was then cut in layers of foam that were stacked to create a mold. Then the carbon fiber could be laid on top of the foam while it was prepared, vacuum sealed, and left to dry overnight. The entire process must be done meticulously to make sure that the carbon fiber and the epoxy dry in the exact shape intended. What remains to be seen is the final product, which is planned for completion in late May.